Hey guys, you want to come in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Massilia. Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. I kind of just lost my train of thought there for a second. All right, let's take a look at the army compositions. We'll start off here with the attackers. Taking a look at Swaby being commanded by Gorm Mjolnir, one of the backseat generals. Find his channel link down in the description below, along with Ellington and Bearded Warman. Uh, but Gorm has brought with him seven units of Club Levy, four Berserkers, two Swordmasters, one of those being his general, one Hexbearer. He does have one Spear Levy and four units of the Kimberly Bow Women. Moving over to his two allies, we do have a Rome and our Verni. Let's take a look at our Verni first, being commanded by Draven, and he has brought six Chosen Swordsmen, five Celtic Warriors, two Levy Freeman, two Osworn, one of those being his general, and the uh, ever-elusive Gallic Hunters, Ninja Hunters, somewhere, maybe? We'll have to see. Oh, he's actually got a giant ballista there as well. Didn't even see that. Nice. Hiding behind the towers. Very nice. And then his ally here, his last ally, is Rome being commanded by the Reaper TV, who I believe is a YouTuber as well, Total War YouTuber. I know he used to go by a different name, and he was on Twitch, but I think he's a YouTube guy now. The Reaper TV, his link will be in the description below. But Rome being commanded by the Reaper TV, he has brought five units of Hastati, five Legionnaire cohort, four armored Legionnaires. General is a Legatus. He also has three Syrian archers and one giant ballista there for himself. Getting in out to the defender side, we will take a look at Misesali first. Misesali is being commanded by Decibel, and he has brought seven units of Desert Legionnaires, one Slave Infantry. General is an Armored Rider. He also has two units of the Numidian Riders, two African Elephants, and four Tribal Slingers. Then we have a Pergamon being commanded by Bali, and he has brought six units of Agima Spears, one of those being his General. Six Galatian Swords, one Threo Spear, one Galatian Spear. Never even actually seen those guys before, Galatian Spears, or at least I don't remember them. Uh, two units of pikemen and the four regular units of archers. And then we do have an Epirus. Epirus being commanded by Samir Foster, one, two, three. And he has brought three units of the Samnite warriors, two Etruscan hoplites, two Italian swordsmen, two Illyrian levies, two Threo spears. General is Hellenic Royal Cavalry. And he also has three units of the Cretan archers. So there you go. Army compositions out of the way. And it just looks like perfect timing, actually. Looks like Arverni is going to be bringing in some of his Celtic warriors. Artillery has been bombarding. Let's see. Roma Ballista with one kill. Let's see. Javelins, though. Javelins. Galatian Sword's going to... Oh, my God. Just murdering. Look at all the dead right there. Jesus. That's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. But Celtic warriors charging in onto the unit of the uh, Galatian Swords right there. Celtic warriors are not looking too good. They are eating a lot of Javelins. Just like over on this side here as well. More of the Arverni Celtic Warriors coming in. Looks like they didn't hit get hit as bad. Oh, no, they did get hit pretty bad. Down to 139 men. So good job so far. Arverni actually over here capturing with this corner tower pretty quickly. That's actually really good. Really, really good. That will give them a little bit more of a foothold to try and get inside the settlement. Swaby is bringing up his galley. Oh, I thought at first I thought that was a... Uh, I thought that was a ram, but nope, apparently it is a galley, already at 18% fire damage, so definitely going to need to keep an eye on that. Oh, what is this? Some of that shock cavalry, that medium Numidian rider shock cavalry, that deployable medium shock cavalry that Miss Cecily can bring. Where is that other unit? Did he bring the other one outside already? Uh, there they are. There's the other unit. Okay, good. There's one of his elephants. His other elephants is over there. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Now we have Rome actually pressing inside. Some of his study coming around the corner. We do have one lone unit of Illyrian Levy. He's going to try and hold back some Celtic warriors and one Hestadi unit. Two Hestadi units? Just one. No, there's one, one Hestadi unit there. Lyrian levies will just hold for a little bit of time. They're not going to hold for a long time. Over on this side, though, the Pergamon sending in yet another unit of his Galatian swords. Going to continue trying to hold up in this corner here. Now, they are a little close. They are going to get shot by the arrow tower there. So, ooh, ooh. Uh oh, Rome. Yeah, okay, good. I've already sending up some infantry to keep an eye. Always keep an eye on your ranged units, guys. Don't just leave them alone. But Arverni did have the eye to uh, press up some of his chosen swords when to keep an eye on them. Just in case anything decided to come out. Like we can see, 
we can see this unit of the... Oh, no, they can see them as well. Numidian Riders sitting right there. Okay. Good. Well, maybe that's why Arverni did it then. But all right, let's see. Swaby is working on burning the gate down, I think. Yeah, it looks... No. No, he's blocking the gate. Okay. So he has chosen a unit of his spear wall and the spear levy here to block the gate over on this side just to make sure in case anything decides to come out, it will have a difficult time getting out of the settlement. But all right, here we go. Swaby knocking down a wall section there with some of his club levy tip. Wow, triple silver chevron. Are they all triple silver chevron? I think they are. Looks like they all are. Nice. Well, I'm sure people are going to be very happy to see that in the comment section below. People are huge fans of Club Levy. Back over here, these Illyrian Levy's still holding. Wow. Oh, they switched out with the Hestati. Okay, did that first unit of Celtic Warriors get destroyed? No, there they are. There they are. Okay, they're still around. Pergamon over on this side, though, starting to get chewed up. Is that the same unit, or did he pull them back? Oh, it looks like he pulled them back. Okay, yeah. He did pull them back, but this first line is about to break through, so that will allow the Romans and the Arverni to be able to move their way forward up this road here. Over on that side. Ooh, artillery. Oh, good shot right into those Stereos. Wow, nice, nice shot. What's he up to here? 34 kills, and the Arverni Ballista is at zero. Oh, he hasn't even fired yet. Oh, he is firing. Okay. Is that him that's firing over there? There's a shot. That's from him. Now, oh, no way. Did that actually kill somebody? I think it did. It did. It killed that one guy. Wow, that sucks. And now they're actually getting shot, so they're going to have to run away. I think that's the uh, Kimberly Bow women here. Is that the Kimberly Bow women? Who fired all the way over there? That must have been them. There's no other archers nearby. Sorry, the Cretan archers are pulling back just a little bit. They actually took a bit of damage, down to 77 men. Over on this side, though, Rome and Arverni are going to continue making their way forward here. We have some of the Desert Legionnaires of the Sicily going to make their way forward. Going to continue trying to hold this road. Ooh, we tried to slip through that gap. Tried to slip. There looked like there was a little bit of a gap right there. I think he was trying to get his Hisati through there, but the, um, Pergamon, almost like Galatia. Pergamon sending a unit of his Galatian swords up there to fill that gap. So, unfortunately for Rome, he's going to have to continue just trying to drill his way through there. Back over here. Oh. Yep, Galley's on fire. Is he going to... I wonder if he's going to burn the gate down. He might He might try and burn the gate down. But, all right. Now we have Swaby coming in. Some Berserkers and Club Levy mix. Getting in onto these Toreos. They are not going to live very long. But we have some more mercenary Italian swordsmen coming over. We get a nice little flanking charge into the side of the Berserkers and... The uh, club levy there. I think they hit more of the berserkers than the club levy, though. Fighting, brutal fighting. I don't think these guys are going to hold for very long. Berserkers, 12 kills down four men so far. So that's actually not... Eh, I mean, they're okay. They're okay. Just melee defense, 66. Armor is only 10. So that is their downfall, Berserkers. But they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Back over in the middle, though. Oh, no. Uh, on the middle, on the Roman side. I should say the Roman and Arverni side. Univestati on their way out. But we have some Celtic Warriors... Bravely charging through, going to get into some Gema Spears. That is not going to work. Oh, now he's going to try and reverse field to get into the Galatians. Yeah, that's not going to work out. That Gema Spear is going to wreck. Yep, there they go. Celtic Warriors on their way out. 107 kills, though. Not too shabby at all, though. Definitely a good amount of kills. But Rome or Averni, they need to send some more infantry in here because this line is about to be done. Right there, final unit. Averni is starting to waver. We do have another unit of Hastati right there. Still trying to hold on. But not looking very good. They are losing decisively here against the uh, Desert Legionnaires. Wow. 
lot of archer fire coming in as well. Okay, we got another unit coming in. That's probably Chosen Swordsman. Yep, Chosen Swordsman on their way in. Frontline is still holding for the moment. Pergamon getting actually that unit of Agima Spears up. So they will be able to continue holding this street for just a little while longer. Switching that Agima Spear unit now into their uh, square formation. Back over on this side. Ah, oh, Swaby's starting to get in here. Swaby's starting to get in. He's got a unit of Berserkers coming around the corner. Club Levy coming around as well. 151 for the Club Levy. Keep it going. Actually, he's got some Club Levy up on the wall here as well. Very nice. Rome... Oh, Javelins, Pila, Javelins, Pila, Javelins, Pila. Oh, brutal. Brutal volleys into those Italian swordsmen. A lot of damage done to those boys. Lots of damage done to those boys. Keep going. Swaby. Charge the Cretans. Oh, he's leaving his back. He's giving his back. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. But Berserker's over here now out of control. Headhunt and Frenzy have been blasted, and these mercenary Etruscan hoplites are about to have a really bad day. Really, really, really bad day. This is not going to go in their favor, I don't feel. Let's zoom in on these fights here, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the battle. If you do, please make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, if you are new to the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's right there. It's free. It's one simple click away. Trying to get to the 10,000 subscriber goal for 2022. 2022. There we go. I thought I said 20 twice. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot. All right, back to the fight. Workers are doing good. I think they're on cooldown now, though. Yeah. Ba oh, that was battle rhythm. Okay, yep. Out of control, still going. 114 kills now. Some more Club Levy coming along the wall. Actually, they stopped. What did they? Oh, they stopped. They got some Italian swordsmen coming up on the wall to stop them. All right. Oh, here we go. Swaby making another hole in the wall. That is nice. But we do have some more of the Desert Legionnaires there. Definitely have to keep an eye on them. You can see the uh, one of the units of the Midian Riders is still outside Arverni. Let's see what he still has. In oh, he's moving his whole force up now. Good. Good stuff. 140 with his ballista. Very nice. 57 for the Roman one. All right. Good stuff. Good amount of kills with that Arverni ballista. For sure. 140? Was that what it was? 140? Uh, there it is. Yeah, 140 exact. Very, very nicely done there by Arverni. Speaking of Arverni, Chosen Swordsman way up behind enemy lines. Galatian Swords on one side. Gema Spears. Oh, my God. If you could get any more point blank than that. That is crazy. A game of spears. Gonna blast these. Oh, oh, okay. He's gonna turn around and recharge back into them again. Oh, the Galatians broke. Okay, Galatians wavered away. They routed away. That's why he turned. He was able to turn them around to charge in. But here comes the Agima Spear General. He's already got four kills, but he's lost six men already. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Wait a second. Arverni pulled out of the fight. He's coming around. He's gonna get into these archers. Is he going to get into the archers? Oh, we actually have another unit of Cretan uh, Rhodian Slingers right there. Gone. But yeah, he's going to get in there. The Game of Spears trying to cover their own backs here. I think they did get into the, some of the archers there, though. A little bit. A little bit. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Ooh, Armored Dominion Rider General moving up. That is a dangerous general. Heavy Shot Cavalry General. Very, very scary there. But back over on this side, yep, Swaby and Arome have worked well together. They are getting inside the settlement. Epirus over here is about to have a bit of a problem. Yeah, he's got some more of the Club Levy Berserkers coming in behind him. These Italian swordsmen are not going to last. And I think these Etruscan Hoplites and Samnite Warriors are about to have a huge problem coming behind him. He actually did burn down the gate as well. That is definitely good to see. But the Berserkers are making their way across. Now getting into the Italians. They are definitely going to be out of here. And open roads. Open roads for Rome and Swaby. Still working on the pressure here in the middle. What do we have? Where are... There they are. I was waiting to see them. One, two, three. I see three of the Gallic Hunters. I only see three. Is that all he has? Maybe he only has three. Oh, look at this. 
going to come in, clean up these uh, ballista crew. I mean, they're already out of ammo, so it doesn't really matter. This one, I believe, is out of the ammo as well. It's probably why he pulled them all the way back there. Yeah, only seeing three of the Gallic Hunters for right now. Maybe the fourth one will show up. He might still be hidden somewhere. But like I said, yeah, Swaby and Rome really digging in onto Epirus now. Hex Bearers standing in the line waiting to see what they're going to need to be done. What they're needing to do, I should say. Um, I think he's going to get ready to break through here. Yep, they just busted through this unit of Thoreo Spears. So here comes this full rear charge. They're all going to slam in onto the back of these Sam Knights. Sam Knights and Etruscan Hoplites are more than likely going to be at it. Oh, wait, nope. Hex Bearers are going to charge in. A little bit of fighting from the Hex Bearers. All right, good stuff. Not a bad thing. Look at this. Berserkers all the way over here. 81 kills. What are they fighting? It just looks like they just completely wrecked a unit of Galatian Swords. Now they're going to get into some of the Desert Legionnaires. And they are completely out of control right now. So they should be able to do a decent amount of damage. 14 men left in the unit. Not even 100 kills, though. That is a little rough. That is definitely a little rough for a Berserker unit. Let's see what his other ones are up to here. Found a Berserker there. 39 kills, 79 men. Um, where's another Berserker? There's one right there. Actually, that's a full unit. They got full full unit, but uh, 33 kills. I thought he had four Berserkers. Did he lose one already? He might have lost one already. Here comes his general. Swordmaster general coming in, chasing down a Thalario spear. Swordmasters, Berserkers. Berserkers, Berserkers. So I guess he lost one. One final Berserker still here fighting. Keep it going, bud. Keep going, man. You can do it. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, did he? No, he didn't break. No, he's still fighting. He's all right, I'm done. Oh, stab that dude in the throat. Come on, keep going down the line. Find somebody else to fight. Where are you going? There you go. Yeah, get in there. Come on, dude. Dude, don't just stand there. Come on. You're under. You're back under control. There's one of you. No, you're just gonna stand there. All right, now he's kind of getting into a fight again. Oh, but he's dead. Oh God, he got shot through the back of the head and then had his throat completely sliced. Ouch. All right, back over here on the Arverni and Rome side. Rome is got some of his Legionnaire cohort in here now as well. Some of the mercenary Cretan archers taking some shots at the Legionnaire cohort. Pretty high armor, so it's going to take a little bit to get through the uh, through the armor there. They did, they've gotten a couple of kills. They've killed four. I don't know if this Cretan archer unit is responsible for the four. If maybe they lost it in melee somewhere, but this is still a fight. I can hear the rumbling behind me. This is still a massive brawl. Two units of Desert Legionnaires holding this crossway. Some chosen swords, auxiliary Syrian archers, and a unit of Legionnaire cohort inside the settlement. 87 for the cohort. Archers with 64 kills. Are they out of ammo? That's a little rough. Being out of ammo, only 64 kills with some, some uh, Syrian archers. That is a little rough. Chosen swordsman here, 36 kills, 154 men left in the unit. Ooh, Desert Legionnaires, 115. This unit there with 40. But I think I saw that, yep, the general is making his way out. Armored Numidian Rider General is going to try and come out now. Yeah, all of the ranged have pulled back. And he did have four. Okay. I thought the fourth one was hiding somewhere. Fourth one was still kind of sneaking, hiding somewhere. We actually have a unit of the tribal slingers from Misesli up on the top of the wall there. Shooting into some of these Levy Freeman. General is going to just hang out over there. Where is his other... Uh, where is the other... Did he use them? There's one. Where's the other unit of the Numidian Riders? Mm, I don't see them. There's an elephant. Oh, my God. They're just swallowing up over there. Hey! Swordmaster General, 69 kills. Giggity. But yeah, I don't see the other uh, Numidian Rider. I think he lost them because there's the other elephant. There's the other elephant. And there's one Numidian rider, so I guess he lost one of them already. Because I do not see the banner, unless I'm just not seeing it, which is possible. Which is definitely possible, but all right, Pergamon looks like they are in a bit of a retreat here. And I'm pretty sure for Massilia, this right here is the town center. So that will be the target goal for this battle. 
for the attackers at least. Syrian archers still on the move, so it looks like we have yet just a cavalcade. Men charging up this center street. Some more of the Galatian swords going to try and hold them back. Is this another unit of Rodian slingers right there? Yes, it is. So another unit of Rodian slingers there for Epirus. Some more of the Desert Legionnaires and another unit of the Travel Slingers there for Masesley. The brutal fighting is continuing. Some of the Galatian swords are actually. Oh, never mind. No, he's wavering. Thought they. I mean, it looks like they're starting to kind of dig into the line there. Yeah, there's a couple of legionnaires. Look at that. Some of these Galatian swords went really deep into this line. Oh, but there you go. Desert legionnaires charging in, going to try and continue helping to hold that line. Back over on this side, I would say they have done pretty good. A lot of ranged over here, though. A lot of ranged. One final unit of Agima Spears holding the line. And the Swordmaster General not looking good. But he just... <gasps> the Swordmaster General just died from Slingers. No way. Oh, that's rough. Swordmaster General is gone. Half an hour left in the battle, though. That is a big, big, big blow to this Swaby force. And it's a lot of Club Levy still. Berserkers, Berserkers. Can be bow women, but the morale. Look at all those yellow dots and red dots over the Swaby forces now. That is pretty rough. Definitely pretty rough. Long fight left to go. That's huge for the defenders. Get rid of a general. Wow, that's big. That is definitely big. Speaking of big, big volleys coming from those Kimberly bow women into some of the archers there. Cretan archers pulling away as well. Regular archers right here, though, for Pergamon. 34 kills, taking some more losses as they try and retreat away. But the defenders still not wanting to give up over here. Still holding, still holding, still holding. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Numidian riders got in here, and they're going to get into the Gallic Hunters. Undefended Gallic Hunters. 201 kills with this Numidian Rider. What is going on? Roman Legionnaire Cohort trying to come back. Hopefully this Legatus General... Get over here. Legatus General, get over here and stop this from running away. Please. Okay, you held him up. Now you got to get the infantry there. Don't let him get away. Yeah, charge the archers in too. I would charge the archers in as well. Get as many kills as you possibly can. Legionnaire Cohort just kind of slowly making their way over here. They need to get over here. Looks like the Dominion right. Yeah, they are starting to lose now, though. That Legatus General came in huge, trying to hold them back. Swaby. Oh, the Dominion Riders are making their way through. They're heading towards Swaby. They are on their way over here. So Berserkers looks like they're getting ready to defend against that. Oh, no, they're gone. They're going to waver away. 35 of them still around. They're getting shot as they're charging over here. They're going to get into the Kimbri Bow Women, but that unit's out of ammo. They already had their spears out, so that unit is already out of ammunition, so not a gigantic deal. The Roman general actually did come down to help, so there you go. Numidian Riders are gone. Final unit of the Tribal Slingers there, and one final, another unit of the Game of Spears come over here. Wow. So Pergamon is not willing to give up anywhere. Gal I'm not Galatia. Um... Masesley is not willing to give up anywhere as well. So that's actually a really, really awesome sign. The defenders are still just holding with everything that they can possibly have. What do they have back here near the town center, though? We have some Desert Legionnaires, the Pergamon General, unit of pikes. Another second unit of pikes over there, Galatian swords, archers. Got more infantry coming up to the front line from Epirus here. Unit of the mercenary Etruscan hoplites making their way forward. So not a lot back here. I mean, well, they got Sam Knights. 
They still have both of their generals. Big he yeah, Hellenic Royal Cavalry General and the Armored Dominion Rider General. Both big, big time cavalry generals. And the Akeem Spear General is definitely a good general as well. Hopefully we don't see any sort of pike stacking here though. So far they're good, but hopefully this Akeem General doesn't mix the crowd with the uh, pikemen there. Hmm. No, it wouldn't be worth it with the Hellenic Royal Cavalry right there. Never mind. All right, but back over here, Galatia, uh, sorry, Arverni was able to keep one, two, three units of his Gallic Hunters. Looks like he's got three still alive there, so that is definitely a good sign. I think he did lose one, unfortunately. Osworn have made their way inside as well, but oh my god. African Elephants over here, already up to 183 kills. I didn't even see them come over here. Wow. 183 kills, out of control, stomping down on all of these Roman soldiers, getting into the auxiliary Syrian archers now as well. Levy Freeman going to charge in here with that bonus first large. They're going to try and contain these elephants. They are still down to four, still doing a lot of damage. Okay, we got three. Still doing damage, still doing damage. my god that is brutal wow look at all those javelins and pila in this one elephant oh my god he died and the other one's down too so there you go final bit of the elephants that was one unit of the elephants still has his other unit back here but swaby are starting to make their way forward here now okay good to see Actually, we have some of the uh, Kimby Bow women here firing up and over into some of these Cretan archers who look like they are out of ammunition, but he's probably just yeah, he's just going to peel them away. There wasn't a lot there anyway, but not a bad idea to just chip them off. There you go. Easy kills. Easy kills. Not a bad idea. Got some Desert Legionnaires there hanging out, holding the line, holding the line, getting ready. So we got 24 minutes left in this battle replay, guys, and it looks like... Epirus has really thrown a lot of his infantry up over here. Truscan Hoplites, another unit of his Samnite warriors have come up over here. He's tossing his Cretan archers and his Rhodian slingers into melee soon as well. Really trying to hold this streak. Fighting. I want to get back up over here, see what Swaby's doing. Swaby is charging in. These two units of Legionnaire cohorts still with them. We actually have a unit of Berserkers up in the front there. 138 kills for the Berserkers. What do we have coming over here? Some more Agima Spears there. The Hellenic Royal Cavalry General just holding, waiting to see what he's going to be able to do. But Agimas look like they're just going to charge right in there. Yes, they are. Game is just going to charge straight in, going to continue trying to hold this front. Tough fighting. Tough, tough, tough fighting. Oh, the Game of Spears pushing through. Oh, wait. Are they pushing these Roman units back? Looks like they're kind of, yeah, they're pushing them back just a little bit here. Pushing these cohorts back. Any other infantry over? Oh no! The Misaisley Armored Numidian Rider General getting around into the Kimbri Bow Women. One of the units is been removed. The other unit there with 71 men left in the or 71 women left in the unit. But it looks like both of them were pretty much are out of ammo anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't really. He's trying to get a, trying to get around to the other ones. This unit looks like he's kind of, looks like he's trying to shield. Yeah, they still have ammo. 
Both of those units still have ammo, firing into that armored enemy of Ryder General. Gonna chase him away. You do see Rome over here. Yep, Rome has keep kept an eye on, so that's good. Hopefully he doesn't get that charge though. 35 to 64. Ooh, that is gonna be a rough fight. But look at this. Here we go. Another big push. Rome and Arverni making their way up through these streets here. We do have the Galatian. Uh, sorry, the Galatian. The Agima General getting ready to throw some javelins into Levy Freeman. That would be funny if he did that. I would laugh if he used javelins on Levy Freeman. Could definitely be using them on way better troops. It does look like they're just going to hold, though. Maybe they're not in range. It's possible they're not in range just yet, but look at this. We don't have, we don't have stacking, do we? No. Pikes are just going to stand in the back row. So the Agima Spear General is pushing forward. He's actually going to pull them back now. Hopefully he doesn't stack on that pike unit. The general... Oh, God. Yep, Roman general. Roman general got absolutely annihilated over there. And now he's going to get into the Galax. Yep. Galax hunters, seven kills. They had a ton of ammo. 37, they have a ton of ammo. Wow. What a bit of a fall down on this side. That is rough. Why do we have... Tribal slingers. They're... They're out of ammo. I wouldn't even care. Wouldn't even care. We got armored legionnaires up on the wall, clearing out some of the tribal slingers there. Two, three units from the from the attackers coming around. Oh, wait. The Roman general's coming back. Still got 13 men left in the unit. Get inside. Get inside. Roman general, come around this way. Get inside. Is the general still alive? Looks like the general's still alive. I'm not seeing a little warning there. Yeah, but all three of your units come back. You guys have definitely needed more on this side. Definitely needed more on this side. A Game of Spear General kind of just keeps running back and forth through these pikes. We actually have the Pergamon archers right there firing, getting some really great shots in onto the back of the Levy Freeman there. Chosen Swordsmen have chosen to move forward. That's kind of funny that I said it that way, but they did throw a Javelin Volley into the pikeman unit there. Not a whole lot of loss, though. Only eight dead so far. Back over on this side, Berserkers are doing their thing, going Berserk. We actually have the, another unit of Elephants have charged around onto the back of the uh, Swaby Berserkers here. Trying to do everything they can. 206 kills, final Berserker right there in the middle of these Pergamon Spears. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there he goes. Berserker is out. This other unit of Berserker is about to get rear charged. Big hammer charge there on them. I think that is pretty much going to be the end of Swaby. Yeah, I don't see very much of him left. That is his final unit right there. Nine Berserkers left in the fight. We actually have another unit. Rome's still over here. Legionnaire cohort still over here. 132 kills. But the Berserkers are still trying to do as much as they can. Final man. Final man, and he's got, kind of, yep, just gets struck down right there. So, unfortunately, there for Swaby, it looks like he has been removed from the battlefield. He had a tough fight, though, coming in here, taking on uh, the Mesaceline troops and the Pergamon troops. Low armor, a lot of javelins being thrown into them, a lot of Pila being thrown into them. So, pretty tough fight. Definitely a pretty tough fight for Swaby. But back over here, we have Osworn now tossing their javelins into this pikeman unit, and they are getting dropped absolutely dropped these archers right here i mean i would be firing into the pack into the back of the pikeman from right here i wonder if that's what he's there he goes perfect fire right into their backs knock them down knock them all down that'll free this up that will open this up and be able to come in this way just make sure that you solidify something this way though you don't want to leave your backs completely open Let's see what we got going kind of back over here. The second unit of pikemen are holding this street here. Rome, unfortunately, another unit. Armor Legionnaires, only 41 kills with Armor Legionnaires. That is a rough one for sure. We actually... What was that? Is that the... Oh, my God. The Pergamon artillery has turned all the way around. Let's see where he's firing. I think he's just firing right over here into where these O-Sworn and Chosen Swords are at. But we'll wait for one shot. Come on. Come on, Pergamon, fire your shot. Fire your shot. There it is. Coming across the sky, and yeah, he's just going to fire right down in here. Didn't hit anything, though. Oh, wait. Nope. Didn't kill anybody. Nothing. 
Pikes got ripped apart. Yeah, archers. There you go. Keep it going. 76 kills. Are they out? Oh, now they're out. That's rough. Uh, Armored Legionnaires just hanging out on the wall up here. Definitely should have them down. Start trying to use them. Get involved. Actually, back over here, we had another unit of Armored Legionnaires coming around. Getting into the sla <laughs> slave infantry is still alive. That's crazy. That is pretty insane. African elephants have charged in over here using their stampede. Looks like they're having a little bit of a trouble. A little bit of a problem, though. They're not really getting in there. They're kind of more stomping on their own guys than they are killing the Romans. But the armored legionnaires now down to 94 men. Elephants are still trying to make their way through. They're stuck. Looks like they're just stuck. able to get out of there yeah it looks like he's just trying to drag them through now these armored legionnaires will not just will just will not let them get through though I'm gonna start dropping some of these elephants that would be good if rome has anything else or uh Verney. oh no our Verney. it would take him a while to get around over here there's some archers right there firing it says that they are firing but they are not firing okay good to see there okay we have levy freeman have come up over here by themselves Challenging the Agiva Spear General and a unit of Galatian swords. Not going to work out. Actually, the uh, some of the Galatian swords. Oh, was that, a, was that a rear charge? No, that couldn't have been a rear charge. Maybe they came around the corner. And just got a little bit of a flanking charge in onto those Levy Freeman. But unfortunately, the Levy Freeman are on their way out. We have a second unit of Levy Freeman right here. 13 kills. No javelins for them. And, uh, yep. Pergamon's just going to charge right in. I don't blame them at all. Oh, Sworn General, though, coming over here. Let's see what kind of work he can do. Get in there. You're fresh. Charge in there. Headhunt. Headhunt. Battle Rhythm. Go. Then second wind after the Battle Rhythm. Go and the Headhunt goes away. But nope. He's pulling away. Pergamon's pulling back a little bit. Gima Spear General staying in there. I would charge in now, yeah. Try and get that Gima Spear General. Galatian swords are charging back in as well. Just got hit with that second wind. Let's keep an eye on those elephants, see what they're doing. Oh yeah, they were victorious over here. 135 kills, taking out another unit of the armored legionnaires there. Wow. Balance of power is tremendously in favor. Look at right here though. Okay, so the attackers are breaking through. This has been fought over for a long time during this battle replay. My God. I'm still kind of shocked how much the defenders kept throwing up over here. They tossed a lot of infantry over here to hold this one pass through. Look at all the dead. Look at all the bodies just strewn about. Probably piles of them. Yeah, look at this pile of bodies right there. Wow. A lot of fighting going on there. Okay, okay. Osworn General breaking through. He's going to do some damage. 102 kills. 110 kills now. Galatians uh, swords they were routing. Levy Freeman are going to charge in, try and finish them off. I don't really know if they're going to be able to do that job, though. Maybe they can. Maybe they can, but we have another unit of almost full armored legionnaires there. Legionnaire cohort making their way up. 131 kills for them. Osworn, 158. So, I mean, the, the attackers definitely still have some infantry left, but I think the defenders have ammo, and they have pikes. They got one unit of pikes right there, 160. Still a full unit of pikes right there. And I think these boys still have ammo. They do. 78 kills for them. The Gima Spear General over here. Looks like he's still got javelins. They're holding one. Still have the Hellenic Royal Cavalry General and the Armored Numidian Rider General, along with this other unit of elephants. But at least the elephants are seen. They're not, they're not hidden right now. So, all right, Rome is looking like they're going to have to be the ones that breaks through this Galatian, um, Galatian sword unit. But let's see, it's, can these legionnaires, can this legionnaire cohort do it? Nope. Chosen swordsman going to come up and help them out. But again, archer fire coming in. Pergamon firing away. 
79 kills. Probably got a little bit of friendly fire there, but he is definitely getting shots into that Legionnaire Cohort and the Chosen Swordsman with a unit of Tribal Slingers coming around far, far side. 110 kills, and they still have Slingers. They still have ammo. Our Verni Garlic Hunters here out of ammunition, so it wouldn't really matter if they get toasted. All right, so what do we got? We got Pikes on this side. Two Desert Legionnaires on this side. A, a Game of Spear General. The Elephants. So there's a decent amount left back there for the attackers. Roam with your General again. Oh, and there, well, I think his General just died. Yep, General is dead. So very unfortunate there for Rome. Just not keeping an eye on his General. That is definitely, definitely a rough time. Now, hopefully some of any of this, hopefully they have javelins left. Hopefully they have javelins left. But all right, here we go. Osworn General coming around this way. Second Osworn and the unit of Chosen Swordsman coming around. Here comes those elephants, though. They are visible. The elephants are visible, so stay ready for them. Actually, I would put... Uh, I would probably put the Osworn General, like, here-ish, somewhere, somewhere maybe there. Try and keep them out of range from getting a shot by the Pergamon archers in the back. And then send the other two units, if they still have javelins, send the other two units up over here. Actually, they wouldn't even need javelins. The pikes are over on that side, I forgot, but look at that. Armored New Ridian Rider General just sitting there waiting. Waiting patiently, waiting for the opportunity. Oh, the archers are out. Okay, so actually, never mind. Wouldn't matter. I would have put the Osworn over there, though, in all seriousness. I wouldn't have put a Chosen Swordsman there. Osworn can hold just a little bit more. They're a little bit stronger. Okay, he's going to fall them back. Maybe fall them back to like here. And just make sure that they're facing the right way, just to be able to watch their backs. Gema Spear General still firing away. I think... Nope, he's still got his spears. He's still got javelins to throw. But these Osworn need to get in here. This is close. This is getting to be a little close here. Balance of power is definitely still in favor of the defenders. And I think a lot of that has to do with the elephants. I really think that has a lot to do with the elephants. Because the Osworn general against an Agima spear general... Actually, wait. Oh, that's, the la that's probably another big reason I just realized that. Or just remembered that. The uh, Osworn General is the only general left for the attackers. So I would just rush. I would just try and push and rush. Armored Dominion Rider General coming around. We have a unit of Desert Legionnaires. 65 men left in the unit coming around. But if they can break through here, this could be huge. If they can break through these Legionnaires and get into this Gima Spear General, that would be quite, quite destructive. Quite traumatic for the Defender and Generals. Uh, Hellenic Royal Cavalry General still just hanging out. They don't have any javelins, do they? No, they don't. And the Slingers over here just firing into the Chosen Swordsman. But they don't really have a choice. They don't really have very much of a choice. So you're going to fire all the way over here now. Yep. You're going to start firing in onto the off shield offside there for the Armored Legionnaires. Back over here. Rome is still trying to make their way forward. Here comes the African Elephants. Not Rome, sorry. Massacely coming around, going to get into these Chosen Swordsmen. Now, they are in Shield Wall, so the Elephant shouldn't be able to easily just walk through. I would send the Osworn General in there. Get him in there, start trying to fight since the Elephants are in melee right now. And they're kind of being held up. Oh, nope, the Elephants are backing off. Elephants are backing off. Osworn on this side should be able to handle that Desert Legionnaire. That is a... Oh, wait, no, the Osworn... The uh, Game of Spear General is losing as well. Whoa, look at the Osworn go, baby. 314 kills. There you go. Keep it going. Hopefully you still have your uh, second wind there ready to hit on that Osworn so he can keep going. He's only winded though, but he will get down to tired or maybe even very tired once that headhunt wears off. And there goes that. Exhausted. He actually hit the exhausted. So, yep. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely top them off with a second wind. But look at that. There's the Legionnaires on their way out. There you go. Freshen those boys right back up. That's going to be like a 400 kill unit right there. They keep going in and getting into these uh, the Game of Spear General. That's going to be a 400 kill unit. Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Back over on this side. Yeah, there's really not much for the attackers to do. 
He can't really do very much. He's got that Hellenic Royal Cavalry General, and he's staring right into the face of a unit of pikes, and that is a full unit of pikemen. So there's not really very much he can do. Are these slingers finally done? Looks like they are, yes. This slinger finally out of ammunition. 141 kills for them. Not too shabby. Desert Legionnaires going to make their way in here again. Elephants look like maybe they're going to try and come around this way. Maybe that's where they're going to go. He's going to try and maybe initiate the combat. Well, not maybe. He's going to initiate the combat with the Tribal Slingers. But the Chosen Swordsman is still going to hold that wall. Still going to hold that shield wall for a time. But I wonder if he's going to try and just bulldoze his way through with the Elephants. Galatian? Wow, these guys. I mean, the Desert Legionnaires still holding on. Wow. 389. Yeah, I told you. It's going to be a 400 unit kill. 400 kill unit. Very cool. But here we go. Let's keep an eye on the Elephants. See what they're going to be able to do over here. I think this chosen sword, this chosen sword's shield wall should be pretty strong. Should be able to hold. These guys are fresh, frightened by an enemy unit though. But elephants trying to bulldoze their way through, and it's just not going to work. Not going to work out for them there at all. Oh, the Pergamon general is dead. The Pergamon general is dead. Oh man, now the Pike's actually moving forward. Pike's moving forward into Rome. What is Rome doing? He's got one unit. No! Armored Legionnaires, back off. Yeah, run away. Run away from there. Keep going. Keep running away. Do not go into the pikes. Now, something that could be... Well, they have the Armored Numidian Rider General now coming over here. I was going to say, something that they could do is send the, the Romans into the elephants that have the smaller unit, but... Uh, oh, nope, no, Pergamon has guarded that side. Definitely a good thing. Here we go. Hellenic Royal Cavalry going to charge in onto these Osworn. Getting them into the Diamond Formation, which drops their acceleration and melee defense even further. Oh, wow. I don't know how good of an idea that is. You're going to be taking on two units of Osworn here. Headhunt. Oh, sorry. That wasn't headhunt. Battle Rhythm. There's the headhunt from the Osworn General. Swordmasters still, I'm oh sorry, Master. Chosen Swords still back here holding the line. Legion, Desert Legionnaires making their way forward. And Rome and Arverni now pulling away, going away from this Pike unit. I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. But look at that switch. Balance of power back in favor for the attackers. The Pikes are going to try and turn, run away, get back around here. You can see it looks like the Mesaceli Generals trying quickly to get around, all the way around over here. To try and get into the back of these Osworn before they kill off this Royal, this Lennox Royal Cavalry, but he is not looking well. Down to 44 men. Osworn here, 476, almost 500, 122 with the general. Here comes that general, though. Here comes the Armored Meridian Rider General, I should say, 280 for him. Wow. 500 kill unit. This is going to be a 500 kill unit, maybe. 482, there's 34 left. Quite possible, but the Elephant's breaking through over here on the Chosens now. Oh, but Rome did make it through. Rome has made it through. What did Pergamon... Oh, I mean, he pulled it. He got into the town center. Chosen Swordsman still alive over here. This small unit of Chosen Swordsman. Get them out of shield wall so they can run faster. Come on, bud. You got to get in there. Hellenic Royal Cavalry General is gone. 495 for this Osborne unit. Wow. And here comes the Elephants. They're going to make their way forward. Shield walling up is the Osworn. Now they need to trick this. Uh, they need to try and trick this Pike unit. Now, by they don't really have a lot of room to trick it. So I would send the Roman unit around. Leave the Osworn here. Keep the Osworn here. Let just the Roman unit go around to the back side. There's neutralizing the town center though. Chosen swords. We're going to try and stand up against the armored Numidian riders, maybe. Desert Legionnaires have held back there. Elephants are still alive. Pikes are moving around. Pikes are shifting. Pikes are shifting. Yeah, charge forward. This Oswan unit should still be back over here, though. I would I would mu feel much more comfortable if that Oswan unit was still there, but it looks like he's still coming around. Rome can definitely come around that way. That would be fine. For Rome get, to get into this circle would definitely be good. Two minutes, 46 seconds left, guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. Tribal Slingers now charging in onto the Chosen Swordsman. Here comes those African Elephants again. 182 kills for them. Going to try and break through these Chosen Swordsmen. Starting to do some damage to them. Killed two men so far. 
Elephant's just being held up, though. Chosen Swords with that shield wall doing a fantastic job. Another Chevron for them. Oh, no, first Chevron. First Chevron for them, 172 kills. Here comes the Pikes. So the defend the attackers are now going to be able to get into this town center, which is going to be huge. Chosen Swordsmen are going to be lost, but that is fine. Shield Wall doing a good job holding back the Numidian Rider charge, and Rome is now in the town center. Now this Chosen Swordsman unit, yeah, we know the Chosen Swordsman unit is going to die, but an Osworn, two Osworn, and one final unit of armored legionnaires here. Attackers now starting to neutralize the town center. Just about to be neutralized there. Pikes coming back over here for Pergamon. Well, you kind of missed your opportunity for a charge there. Kind of missed your opportunity for a charge. They did not. They have the pikes down now. The elephants. I'm sure what the elephants are trying to do. Looks like they're trying to make their way through. Os1 fall back. Os1 fall back. And that would maybe fall back a little bit more see if those pikes come around that corner Rome would be able to charge in on the side but the elephants elephants coming straight through they don't even care 230 on the elephants still all 10 of them now 9 they have lost 1 pikes getting involved starting to stab into that Osworn general armored legionnaires getting stomped down on by the by the African elephants at the moment here comes that general again Armored Numidian Rider General coming around the backside of the attacker's units. The Osworn here. 522 on that Osworn. The Osworn General, 124. They need to kill these elephants off. Balance of power shifting back in favor of the defenders again. Wow. What a shift back and forth. This has been a really fun battle to watch. Really fun battle to watch. Osworn, unfortunately, 522. Looks like they're going to be out of here. But the elephants... I mean, the elephant, yeah, the elephants are just too much. 371, 293 on the Mississippi Numidian Rider General. Pikes here, I mean, the pikes, they were just there for a distraction. They didn't really do very much. Not very, not, yeah, they didn't really do very much at all. 45 kills for pikeman units, not anything. But there you go, guys. That is the end of this battle. What an amazing turnaround. Couple of turnarounds. Attackers in favor, defenders in favor, attackers in favor, defenders in favor. Wow. Costly victory. Defenders are victorious. Let's take a look at the ending army compositions here. Uh, we have Mesesli being commanded by Decibel. A 3,090 kills. Almost 3,100. Very nicely done. He was actually the one that sent the replay in. So, Bud, thank you very, very much for sending it over. Uh, 295 on his General Elephants. 460. 231. Dominion Riders. One unit there. 249. Great job. Slingers. 155. 149. 185. His Legionnaires. 161. 308. 141, 104, 222, 211. Very, very nicely done. And we have Samir Foster, 123, with Epris, 1,258 kills. General, unfortunately, only 29. Uh, Cretan Archery here, 122, one of his Rodians, 100. Levy's not a whole lot. Truscan Hoplite's not a whole lot. Uh, Italian Swordsman there, 137. Sam Knight's 159, 134, 101. And his top for his Thoreos was 62. And then we have Bali here, 2466. Game of Spear General didn't do much. Only 98 kills. That is definitely a little bit of a letdown. Uh, Archers, 126, 94, 94. Pretty good there. And Game of Spears, the rest of them, though. 194, 337, 153, 137. Pretty good job there with those guys. 337 is really, really good. Uh, Galician Swords, 257, 123, 124, 131, 143, 105. Pikes, yeah, they didn't do much. That pike unit got completely evaporated. So, not really useful for the Pikes there. Getting into the attackers, we have Gorm Mjolnir here playing as Swaby, 2259, 79 with his general, 215, his other swordmaster. His Kimberly Bow Women, 125, 114, 138, 121. So, all of them over 100 kills did very good. His Berserkers, again, all over 100 kills, 113, 100, 207, 129. Club, Levy, 205, 156, 106, 131. And that's going to be about it. Hex is 54. Spear level 72. Spear wall only, only three kills. Then we have Reaper TV here playing as Rome 40 with his general. Ballista 57. Ranged uh, Syrian Archer. One unit there with 114. Another one there with 96. Armored Legionnaires 134, 109, 108. Astati top. Wow, look at that. 254 with an Astati. Amazing. And then his Legionnaire cohort, 132, 151, 212, 156. And then finally, we have Draven here with Arverni, 2,221 kills. 126 on his general, 522 on an Osworn. Beautiful. Love it. 
His giant ballista, 140, great job there. Gallic Hunters, unfortunately, just did not have a chance to really start doing anything. Really unfortunate. Uh, Celtic Warriors, 111. Chosen Swordsman, 144, 180, 216, 100, 230. And his Levy Freeman here, top unit, was 22. But all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, uh, share the content around. And if you are new to the channel, again, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check the links down for below. You got um, Reaper TV. His link for his YouTube channel will be down there. But also, like I said, Gorm Mjolnir, Bearded War Man, Ellington Total War, the other three backseat generals. Make sure to check out all their content. Toss them a subscribe. And don't just subscribe and never go back. Toss them a subscribe. Watch some of their content. They do good stuff too. But all right, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.